Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to the Vitruvian Live. Today is Monday, September 27th, I believe. Um, a new episode of the Vitruvian Live, and as you can see, I'm uh, filming with my phone at this moment. Uh, not because my camera broke or something, but I want to show you something. I had to film something today, right? I had to do an episode. So uh, today we are going to eat uh, Belgian fries with uh, the typical Belgian stew. And I just thought, hey, why not show you what that is? Uh, because we Belgians are pretty proud of our fries, <laughs> especially. Uh, uh, we cringe a little bit when, when people call it French fries. Uh, on the other hand, if you make it the right way, then it's Belgian fries. <laughs> uh, sorry, if there are French people watching, it's all uh, as a joke a little bit. But still, we are proud of our fries and we sometimes don't like it that people call them French fries all over the world. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you how we make them fresh, uh, homemade. Uh, the stew has already been made, it has to be heated up. Uh, it's best that you do it the day before, so it can rest for a night. So I'm going to show you the pot with the stew. I'm not going to show you how that is made. That's more of Elise's job, <laughs> because uh, there are some parts of it that I'm not as good at. I'm not the best cook. If you have seen my video uh, where I made pancakes, you will know, right? But I'm going to make fries. That was my job today. So. Uh, Let's join. <laughs> you can join me if you want. And before we go to the fresh, uh, the f the fries making stuff, this is, uh, by the way, a very good pot. These are great pots for making stew, folks. It's uh, I'm not getting paid for or anything, but this is, this brand of pots, Le Creuset, is just fabulous. And there we go. This is a stew. Uh, it might not look very tasty on screen, but it is very tasty if you eat it. It's uh, the greatest part. Uh, meat, sauce, some herbs, and uh, it's so delicious, especially with Belgian fries. All right, let's make those fries, right? Now, the first thing you need is good potatoes. Now, these are potatoes that are sold in bags at the, just at the grocery store, uh, and these are especially for fries. Now, don't ask me why makes this better for fries. Uh, I think it probably uh, a certain structure inside of these potatoes that makes it better to fry uh, because that we'll be doing later. So we're going to get the skin of those potatoes and then we are going to cut them into fries. Now I prefer to use one of these thingies here uh, to get the skin up. Uh, I know when I was young these things existed as well, but they were a little bit different and they were harder to use, but they worked pretty well. Um, but we also used just the plain old uh, knives to do so. But then if you do so, you lose a lot of your potato if you don't cut very short uh, close to the, uh, to the edge. So that's why I prefer these. And well, you try to get rid of everything, of course, uh, but Hey, there we go. So that's what we do first. There we go. And we do that with every one of these, of course. Okay, now if you're done with that, I'm not sure if this will be enough, we'll see uh, later. But if, it, if that's done, you'll have to wash these very well to get the starch off a little bit. So uh, that's always the best thing to do. So just wash your potatoes, also to get the dirt off because they grow underground. And uh, there we go. Time to make fries. Now there are many ways to do this. You can again use a knife or a bigger knife if you want and cut fries out of these. Or you of course can have some help with some equipment. So this is again not going to call how it's called. It's not a commercial. It's just me making french fries. No! Belgian fries! <laughs> uh, so, now, I'm using this size here. Uh, you can make them bigger if you want. Now, I wouldn't make them 
Tine, uh, thinner that's not really how they should be uh, really thin fries like in the McDonald's or something like that uh, especially uh, well in McDonald's in Belgium I don't know where how they are in the United States or something but th this is a little bit about the size that you probably uh, prefer so the way this goes is you put and I'm not sure how this works well put it like this and then we make a fry well multiple fries there we go, this is it for two persons, I think this should be enough, if it's not enough, well, we'll see what we do then. Uh, but anyway, this is what I made, I made one more, I did one more potato than I showed you before. Now, uh, before doing this I also dry them a little bit because of course, if this is wet or too wet, it's not good if you're going to fry it. Now, talking about frying, that's what we're going to do next. We're going to pre-fry these fries. That's very important. Now, before we start doing that, you can use different kinds of things to fry your fries in. You can use oil, which we used to do most of the time, but now we come to the other thing. This is actually, uh, well, grease, uh, animal grease. Now, they're probably, if you are, uh, vegetarian or vegan you can probably do other things uh, I'm not really a home in that world I eat meat and uh, maybe I shouldn't but hey okay so this is how it looks like before it's soft because this is hard now because it has to melt and that's why we put this on 140 degrees Celsius at this moment so this is going to become a fluid uh, now this is a little bit older already we were planning to change it before doing this so it's a little bit dirty you have to change this often enough to get good taste and no real grease on your fries so there you go it's just stuff starting to happen there uh, so when that's ready we get back to it now as you already might have noticed I am doing this outside why because of course if you're going to fry stuff the smell gets it in your entire house so that's why we do this outside even when the weather is bad or it's getting dark already wow um, but that's what we do so we have it here on the table and it's almost ready it's almost when it's on this heat then we are going to put these fries fit right in there okay so very important be careful of course you're dealing with very hot stuff of course and don't do too much in one time so fill up your baskets or whatever you're using uh, enough but not too much so it doesn't uh, is overly full so I'm going to do about half a third of what I made so what we'll do is we're going to fry this but only for a while so it doesn't need to get its color yet all right that's for later so we're going to fry these and you can see it's hot uh, and then we're going to put them into a bowl uh, with some paper towel so all the fat can already get out of this right so we'll wait just a few seconds and then we continue okay so these are done they're not have don't have the color yet of the real good fries the golden color but that's not necessary that will be for later so we're just going to get all most of the oil or grease or whatever of these fries and then we're going to put this into a bowl with some paper towel so that everything can go off I'm going to do this soon without the camera and we're going to do the next as well and later when Elisa gets home and we're going to eat then we will do these fries back in there but at 180 degrees until they're done okay part two frying for the second time it starts now 180 degrees Celsius and the cool thing is that now they are gaining their color pretty quickly so that's the cool thing when you pre-fry them okay there we are look at that beautiful color these folks are Belgian fries and we're ready to eat bon appetit or smack like